This is so the case in which there is a class 2 subdivision on the right side, deep bite and lower crowding. We can deduce that compression forces exceed tension forces. Patient will like to be treated with the minimal treatment time with brackets in mouth. It seems the lower alveolar bone presents a thin layer, so it might be possible to provoke the damage of the alveolar bone if tension forces generated by the night tie wires overcome compression forces. We cannot put lower brackets unless we put biplanes to open the mouth. Instead putting on self-ligation brackets, the treatment is begun with orthoclonic activators applying tension forces in order to overcome the compression forces gener generated by the malnutrition. After a few months of treatment with orthoclonic activators, spaces are created by the effect of the tension force produced by the open coil. The occlusal view shows the expansion of the arches. The patient has to use orthoclonic activators a minimal of 16 hours every day, including sleeping hours. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> After eight month treatment, we have been able to improve the class two subdivision on the right side, the deep bite, the lower crowding, <coughs> excuse me, and the form of the arches in general. Come to drink some water, excuse me. <coughs> Look the improvement of the lower gummy line by using only orthoclonic activators. We can put cell ligation brackets in the lower arch without using bite planes because the deep bite has been correct. <coughs> cell ligation brackets with 0 0.014 Cooper night tie wire are placed in the upper and lower arches during 10 weeks. Treatment is going on with 0 0.014 times 0 0.025 Cooper night tie wire during 10 weeks more. Selective rinding is made in order to avoid dental interferences, principally on the left side. The patient is asked to chew only on the left side. Point zero 0.018 uh, times 0 0.025 Cooper night tie wires are placed in order to finish the leveling phase of the treatment. Patient keep chewing on the left side and selective grinding according to neuroclusal rehabilitation technique is going on, principally on the left side. Stainless steel preposted 0 0.019 times 0 0.025 with class 2 Elastics are placed in order to improve the class 1 on the right side. Patient keep chewing on the left side. Finally, 0 0.019 times 0 0.025 TMA arch wires are placed to achieve a correct relationship of the occlusion. These are the sequence of the photos before and after making a mixed therapy with orthoclonic and daemon system. The final records show that anesthetic and functional class 1 relationship has been achieved. So finally, we've made a more treatment with orthoclonic system. 12 month treatment with the immune system and 20 month total treatment time. We can see the improvement of the arches. This therapy allowed us to reduce the bracket treatment time. Will we have made an orthodontic treatment only by using brackets in this case? Of course, yes. Nevertheless, 
maybe we will have needed 20 more treatment time only with brackets. In other words, the same time that we needed to correct the malocclusion use it using a mixed therapy. These are the changes before and after making a mixed treatment with orthoclonic and cell ligation brackets that have been achieved at the face of the patient. 